Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. Win streak. Can't believe it. I know. It's a miracle. Heck of a team today again. I mean, when is it not, really? When do I not feel that way? Ravager up front one more time. Just been in love with that. Can't stop, won't stop. I've got an occultist with chaotic offering taken off in favor of just having the sacrificial stab. I know I'm not going to be working with a ton of combo on this team, but I feel like we've got maybe just enough to make it work. I kept the wicked hack up front for the same reason. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I'm justifying this now that I think about it. Like I've got a little bit more Sorry, I've got to go, I've got a little bit more combo utilization on this team than I do actual combo application. Smoke screen of course going to help us out a little bit with that too in the back here with an arsonist runaway. Plenty of healing obviously on this squad going to be fine in that case with the cauterize the plague doctor's got both of hers equipped and of course we've got the weird reconstruction up front as well she's got the revelry too for a little bit of stress reduction we'll see how that goes we're probably going to want to swap off between that and uh well actually again adrenaline rush may not be entirely necessary with this team with the amount of stress or with the amount of normal healing they've got to begin with opted off of the uh, bleed out this time too ultimately I think I need to realize, especially if we're going with the Infernal Flame again, that that's most likely not going to be the best option the majority of the time. Oh, big thing with this team, too. Right after Wayne gets his little piece in here. The road is yours to travel, but you are not alone. We got two Tangle Explorers here with the... Uh, Plague Doctor and the Occultist, primarily what convinced me to bring both of them in the first place. So definitely looking to go there to get our trophy. You gotta keep that in mind. And hey, also, 112 candles. That's not bad either. Hearts and minds will carry the day. So paths definitely strike me as something we should go for here. Of course, we're pretty much done with the Intrepid Coast for now until I feel like I want more Stagecoach skins, so we don't have to worry about that for a little while. We don't have too many of these things left to get either. In fact, it's pretty tempting to just maybe come close at least, or maybe even completely finish this off. We'll see. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction Ooh. and overcome it. That is the perfect name for that trinket. I think I've had that before, too, but that is... Oh, I love that one. Oh, thank you, Nolas. I appreciate that. It's really kind. I always found Iron Swan to be weak only because you're usually forced to use it winded. Most fights you start with howling. Yeah. And, like, I've, I have been, like... I, I that's, that's not the first time I've heard that, despite that being your first time chat, ironically. But... I have been trying to pay attention to like more opportunities to Iron Swan in the beginning. Oh man, oh we are popping off right away here, dude. We only had uh gold left to mine apparently in this in this mine. Uh, good metaphor bear. That's awesome though. Thank you very much, game. Holy shit. Holy mother of hell. That's an expression. That's how fried my brain remains, I suppose. God damn. Ooh, this feels good already. This couldn't have come with a better team here, too. This runaway is going to pop off. I am very excited about that. Okay, that's that's an Infernal Flame Trinket, of course, which, you know, we might be using here. That seems okay. There's certainly some opportunities to synergize with that. I feel like this is going to be a runaway pog game. It already is. Not bad either. Damn. Leper, obviously. Big fan of this one. Seen that before, I think, too. Hey, armor. Okay. Glad to see another one of those, at least. Okay, not bad. Can't help but continue to click this right now, too. Oh, yay, another one of these. Oh, my God. Oh, both? 
Are you kidding? That is outstanding. All right. I think we might want to stop on trinkets now. Yeah, again, I got to keep the inventory space in mind. I haven't kept track, but I feel like we're probably... Oh, we're done. <laughs> well, that'll certainly stop me too, right? Oh, there we go. I did not realize I hadn't unlocked that yet either. Right, yeah, very good. Okay, and let's go ahead and get the last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. How do I forget these things? Phenomenal thing to have. Honestly, really want to try to keep this till the end, too. Okay, very, very good there. Three done. Not too surprising we've left the stagecoach items for the end here. And uh, eh, let's go ahead and get a couple. I feel like obligated <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, sure. That's not bad. A little tea set on the stagecoach. Why not? The more they have to hold on to, the harder they will fight. So we've got ourselves the runaway, of course, coming along this time. I'm hoping that we can maybe get her a little more help in the form of like some extra burn chance or something. But no, nah, I mean, we can get some more burn resist. That's nice, but that's 21 candles. And that seems a little too expensive. So yeah, more paths are probably the way to go here. More death door resist, of course, is always going to be welcome for people that are already in the squad. We got the unique items here as well. Storage room key. Uh, I think we'll probably just get these new paths for these guys. So let's work on him first since he hasn't gotten these bonuses yet. Shambler's Eye. That's a fun one. We'll go for that. And the Aspirant, which is the path that I wanted to use today, actually. So I'll go ahead and keep that unlocked for next time. There we go. Uh, Leper's got the Monarch path. Purge and Intimidate skills gain a vulnerable token. Minus 30% max HP, but gets plus 50% max HP for Cosmic Combat. Chop skills plus 100% damage for Cosmic Combat as well. So that means he's going to be stacked by the time you hit the final boss, but until that point, he is going to be pretty handicapped. Although he's still going to be pretty effective if you turn him into... I don't know. You can, I mean, he's still going to be an effective tank, even with, with minus 30% max HP. I feel like I feel like I want to try to make that work. Orphan Path for the Runaway is a fun one. Let's go ahead and unlock that as well. It's going to get us the Knitted Blanket, too, for extra dam or extra burn dealt from burn causing skills which yeah would love to find that one here yes please yeah orphan path is a lot of fun i like that one a lot carcass path man i just I, i'm gonna wait on that one that one's just still so weird to me physician's fun too though let's go for this okay cool good use of the candles today i'm happy with that Let's just go ahead and do one more of these. Oh, there's more trinkets. I guess it just visually glitched. Tinkerer's Bench. Chance to produce contraption items. All right. Once more into the maelstrom. In search of what hope yet remains. Let's go ahead and equip some bomb-ass trinkets real quick. Find where that burn damage was. There we go. The duration. Very nice. Does anyone have over six speed on this team? They do not. Nor do they have less than two uh, less than two speed, unfortunately. Once we equip the Infernal Flame, we can benefit from that. We don't have a Dark Impulse yet, of course. Nautical Compass will probably be best on you. And kind of want you to have that too, actually. Until we're able to use this, of course. Yeah, might as well equip the triage kit. Hell yeah. Let's do it. That's the spirit, you man. I love to hear it. And seizure Salad. That's a great name. Oh, man. That's that's a top quality name right there. Give him some love with the bear hugs. Thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Let's hope for a good one today. Well, for a good uh, you must be strong enough to order to begin with than your share of the burden Mason welcome Ooh, food definitely 
Definitely learn to take that. No gain is insignificant. Well, that's not bad either. Nice. Oh, and I'm already missing the assay gear, dude. Oh my god. Honestly, I think that that might end up getting nerfed too. I feel like that's one that probably should be worth maybe like half of what it is. is unfocused, as though he's in two places at once. Every time I see a say gear, I'm like insta buy. That is just pays for itself in you know like half a region usually. Oh boy, let's see. That's not bad. That would actually give us the ability to use the other one, the seaman's boots. Which wouldn't be bad for our Hellion right now. I feel like that's a decent combo up front. And we can give that nautical compass to somebody else. Go ahead and set that up right away real quick. And then let's give this... Give this to the Plague Doctor? I guess so. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, yeah, sure. Why not? Cool. Playing cards, smoke bombs, all the usual stuff. Get started on the relationships early on here. I think I'm going to maybe save my relics actually for the inn this time. Although I do want those. And then we can move on. Really should be prioritizing poultices even this early on. The stimulating and the uh, the nightshade concoction. The winds whip more harshly on the far side of the brook. Nightshade concoction in particular, man. I feel like that's been making a difference lately. We've seen a few death door saves. I think those twenty percent bonuses have been have been kicking in, man. Thank you, Kitsune. I appreciate that. Glad to have you. Big blight. Ooh, that's honestly a tempting early upgrade, too, is just to go ahead and get a massive Blight uh, Plague Doctor going. I can't not do it, man. Even having just had that conversation. I mean, obviously, this one's not that important. Mars the Stone! I think for the three months I may have died as the Plague Doctor yesterday, but I'm back as a ghoul today. Well, sadly, your time as a ghoul was not, uh, was not too lengthy either. Glad to have you back, though. Thanks for the three months. Appreciate it. Really loving this change now that I've had a little more time with it. The uh, two mastery instead of one from the first fight. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Makes things a lot more interesting the first in and just feels feels like the right kind of balance at the moment. Feels like you kind of need it, honestly. How tough things are at the at the moment with the game. There are yet places such as this. Oh boy. Where a little light still gathers. Hmm, that could be an easy replacement here. That seems like a good way to go early on. He's not gonna be too good until we can get a few mastery points under his belt. Make sure you get that pick me in as well if you haven't done so already. We got the stagecoach to name here as well as this new bounty hunter. And let's hope the tangle shows up actually. The provinces and ah, of our land. Man. Crumbling and undone. No oh, good. Boy, that's a nasty combo there. This is really unfortunate. I guess we're just gonna have to go for the harvest, baby. Avoid the hospital too. Yeah, that sucks. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. Might as well slap all this stuff on. That's going to help us actually with our uh, relationship items early on here. That's nice. And yeah, I know. I probably... Well, I mean, this is going to stop being as appealing once we uh, max out on upgrades too. So while we want candles, we should continue to do this. Bolt it on and be off. The mountain will not be denied. Viridian Birch. Feels like a perfect name for this stagecoach. Congratulations. You'll join us. Listen. 
Practice. Improve. Yeah, I have decided. I do want to roll this way. The indiscriminate science along with the uh, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. relics remind us of a time before the end. I'm go with the whiskey time bottle. Another apple and cheese. Returned. Hello, Red Zwan. Thank you for the two months. Thanks for the kind words. And thanks for the bear hugs. Come on back. I could go for a scrap grenade, yeah. All right, then let's do this stuff. Very good. Ooh. Wow. That's really a lot better than I thought we were at this point. Let's, oh, they won't do that one, damn. Um, let's see. I guess Plague Doctor Runaway is just as well off, right? There we go. And might as well. Ah, darn it. Okay. There's still one positive node away, so we'll just leave them at five. And I think we probably want to do Hellion Runaway at that point. Because I am pretty sure I'm going to leave him on the bench. We'll have a little extra crit chance there. Okay, misses the mark. That fucking sucks. Oof, dude. Welcome to the bear pile. Angel of iron converting to the tier one. Keep the bear hogs coming for him. Thank you. Ah, yeah, it's just a bounty hunter swap. All right, let's get him in the mix. You got anything we got to use here? Nope. All right. Here we go, then. He will lend you his wicked talents. What a, price. what a great bounty hunter name, too, man. Macabius Rex. Or Macabius Rex, maybe. Either way, welcome on in. Hopefully I can fit that in here. Nice. Let's go, dude. Oh, baby, with the utility belt. Now we're talking. Okay. That'll certainly inform our skill selection here, so we gotta have Flashbang, Hurlback, Caltrips for sure. Which we already do. Yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it. I'll certainly enable the combo a lot more often. Although, of course, the Occultist was the one primarily benefiting from that. Whenever you have a Bounty Hunter, you're obligated to give him two smoke bombs if you have them. That's the rule. And that'll make him up. I just write him down and enforce him. Alright. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm not even going to give myself the temptation of using that Warhorn yet. If the Hellion has blind risk, why not swap the damage on Miss Trinket back to them? That's the... Oh, yeah. That's not a bad idea, huh? Not a bad idea. That doesn't mean we have to give up this speed thing, but honestly, that's probably not even that big of a deal. This seems a lot less important than this. Although we could do this. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that. Oh, wait, we're already getting this, and then... Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's way better, actually. It's just objectively better. Yeah, no, okay, good call. And then... He's not at two speed, unfortunately. But he might get to two speed? I guess. It's not hurting him, right? Yeah, it's not doing anything detrimental. Certainly hoping we're going to be able to use that at some point in the region. Ideally, prior to the Harvest Baby fight. Okay, I think we're good. I'll save that for if we go to the Sprawl. Let's find that Dark Impulse, dude. Be able to use that Temptation. That'd be sick. The rancid crop grows unchecked. And the abhorrent... Oh, boy. That's certainly not the start I wanted to see. Bear, can you please explain why you often pick Bounty Hunter? It seems that you lose a lot of opportunity to build relations in your core team by taking the Bounty Hunter. Uh, well, I, first reason to be totally honest problem. with you is, is it not? entertainment value. And also so, so another person could be selected for the pick me. That's definitely chief among them. Uh, as far as that goes... 
I haven't really felt like I've like sacrificed a relationship ever ever as a result of it. Good yourself. And don't stand too close. I understand what you're saying. Like, obviously, we're losing a bunch of opportunities for the occultist to en uh, engage with everybody at these nodes. But, yeah, it's, you know, like, I, I think my my uh, decision mostly rides on the fact that it's a lot more fun to bring him along. He also does things like this, where if we don't like these situations, we can just choose him and... A lot of the time, he does what I want to do without having issues, you know? So, there's a benefit, too. He's also compassionate now, which obviously is super helpful. Ooh, that's a pretty good trinket for us right now with this Hellion. I recall not being super impressed with that before, but now we realize that's actually regen. Oh, it might even be better on you, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, it's already harvest baby time, huh? Okay. Certainly glad to have gotten that trinket, at least. Real good with the runaway cauterize. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, obviously, with the battlefield medicine as well. Adrenaline rush would be a good way to utilize that uh, once the bounty hunter's back on the bench, too. Right? The bloodlust could be good. Oh, wait. No, no, no. The bloodlust is the... That's when the target's bleeding, not when I'm bleeding, right? Because that's going to be... It's going to cause bleed on the person. I mean, that might actually help the Compassionate at some point. But anyway, let's make sure I've got good stuff equipped here. We'll go like this. Probably go ahead and do... No, we'll keep the triage kit in place of these. These will be good for the Hellion. But I'd much rather have everything else we got equipped. But I could probably save these smoke bombs still, so let's do that. He's got his own smoke bombs. I know I broke a rule, but it's okay. The landowner's manor. Do you hear the child's cries? So instantly pops a regen there, so I'm thinking I might have uh, undervalued that trinket already. We'll see how good that ends up being. If you ever go back to the original DD, can I recommend some quality of life mods to install? Honestly, if I ever go back, it'll most likely just be vanilla. I'm never... Well, like, I did the modded campaign, obviously, and then we kind of... Uh, binged on the mods there. But I've never really been one to want to, like, easily resolved. try to optimize the experience with mods in that way, you know? Like, all the more power to you if that's how you're doing it. It's just not really for me. Yo, JJ, thank you for that. Appreciate it. A slow dissection. Oh, also nice. An unavoidable end. Yeah, that, that, feels, that feels better to have it there. Yeah, this actually might be incredible. <laughs> I feel pretty dumb for uh, for how I perceive this initially. Now that I realize this is regen, this actually might be one of the better trinkets I've ever seen. Obviously, the bleed. We've only seen the better result of it so far, but the bleed might just be negated by the regen, honestly. The regen stacks, too. Yeah, I just saw it stack, so that's kind of why I'm like, wow, that is, um, that is fucking phenomenal. Shelby! Thank you for the seven months. Thank you for the resubs, everyone. Really appreciate that. Carl! Start with the burn. A slow dissection. Alright. An unavoidable end. Yeah, I mean clearly it's been going quite well so far. What was the Caltrips thing with this? Extra debuff chance, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, lower speed on him, sure. No bleed, though. Ooh. Ooh, the taunt, too. Yucky. Okay, okay. What are we doing here? How do we handle this? How do we handle Carl? I feel like I should go for him first, but I already got a burn going up here. So let's do that. I should clear the taunt at least. Okay. So I maybe just go ahead and toe to toe here to keep some attention off her. An opportunity squandered. Nice. Sepsis. 
Ugh, God damn it. He resisted the bleed, too. Of course he can resist the fucking DOT with this trinket. I'm so dumb. How did I not consider this stuff? This thing's busted, man. This thing is basically just like a free chance for a regen. Holy shit. That's very exciting. We got to try to build around that, dude. A breakthrough. Very, very good. Come on now. We got to taunt up front, damn it. Be reasonable here. All right, let's try to finish you off quick. Carl's gonna have problems here. Uh, or not, you know. He might, be, he might be totally fine, it turns out. Should probably heal a little. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. A little stun? A little stun this time? Not that time, okay. Oh, there it is, nice. Holy shit, utility belt combo flashbang is unreal. That was pretty dope. Combo burn. Man, they are survivors. Only got that shuffle. Hit him with the toe-to-toe -to -toe again, even if we miss, we get a strength token off of that. Very nice. A simple variable. Easily resolved. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Don't leave any corpses for Carl to munch on. Yet another crit. Uh, I think this is... No, nah, he's already blinded. Let's just keep burning. It's <coughs> time to DLT on him already. I think I'm going to go ahead and hit this corpse too. Okay, finally got the bleed there. It's not that big of a deal, though. Yeah, take this away so he doesn't get the uh, boost from that. Steady yourself. Do we have revelry equipped? I think we do. Yeah, go ahead and do this. Very nice. Cauterize that. This wound at least has been tended to. So that one was a resisted bleed, but again, yeah, like this regen is negating this bleed entirely, so it basically doesn't matter at all. Feels pretty damn good, man. Three crit on the Noxious Blast will bring him to Death's Door with a double blind and hopefully a weak in here. Nice. Did get his little chunk to munch on, though, unfortunately. I hope I never say that out loud again. But I will, because look at the game we're playing. All right, time for Carl to die. The slow suffering begins. Time to go, Carl. Let's get you with the blight grenade and let's go ahead and get out of here, buddy. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gain. Harvest bounty, love to see it. Ghastly gruel, love to see it. Brilliant brew, love to see it. Let's do it. We'll store its trunk too. Very nice. Born to a corpulent, half-eaten mother, the child is a ravenous avatar of degeneracy. So again, I'm going to be pretty tempted, I think, to immediately obliterate the putrid meat, which is another oh, sentence I'm really hoping to never say again in my life. But we know I will. Starting a burn on the ba uh, starting a burn on the baby is always good. These have been fun. These have been a lot of fun. I'm glad these are audio files that are going to be out in the world forever of me speaking these words. Murder that baby. That's right. You you got it, bud. That is exactly correct. Don't waste that vulnerable. You've already said way worse things. I know, yeah. But not even in this context. You're just despicable. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. Obviously didn't want double harvest hunger up front, but all right, I guess I'll take a bite. 
Uh, if I tow to tow before he gets his action, I can stop him from doing this, but obviously that's dependent on turn order here. Got a crit on you. Uh, I'm not going to be able to shuffle you with anything, am I? Smoke screen's okay, I guess. It does make the Maz pretty unlikely to hit. Uh, let just do this, though, but then yeah, that's a vulnerable waste, so let's just do that. Let's just do that and hope the blind hits and it doesn't. That's fine. Okay. That's pretty good. A slow dissection. Nice. Strength token off that as well. Resisted there, but doesn't really matter too much, unfortunately. And the mods didn't hit too bad either, so... Okay. Not awful. This thing's already pretty low. Banana. I love the sound effects. It's still so good, man. I don't know if I really need to toe to toe. I feel like, well, I mean, obviously, she's a Ravager. I should probably do it. It'll be good to lock her in place still for the uh, potential of him getting the hunger again. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. This wound at least has been tended to. Even if they get it, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Very nice. Okay, let's see. What do we do here? Mark is very good. Caltrips is pretty good. The bleed resist isn't that high. Flashbang is not as good. Collect bounty, not as good. Ah, he's getting lucky. Combo still helps a lot here, though. We'll get that lowered blight again, I think. It's been doing a lot of damage. Combo doesn't help the Hellion as much either. Wicked Hack, obviously, but I'd rather just do the Howling End here again. So let's do it. Okay, then we'll tell the toe again, of course, to get the uh, immobilized back. He is going to Maz again, unfortunately, but we have another Cauterize. We have another Battlefield Medicine. It might even be better, honestly, for us to prioritize him going for Maz because the back line is a lot more vulnerable. So, yeah, I feel like we're fine in that regard. And that obviously sucks, and hopefully the Hellion's going to be first here, but, yeah, I can't really... Oh, right, yeah, no, that doesn't do that, does it? Damn it. Okay, yeah, not going to be able to do that very effectively. I feel like Magnesium Rain is pretty good here. Oh, that sucks, though. That's not what we wanted. Ooh, that's bad. That's very bad. Uh-oh. Hmm. Especially with these guys having hunger, that is a big problem. I feel like we might just have to damage race at this point to hopefully not let the Plague Doctor die. Ah, I was worried about that. Okay, this is bad. This got really bad. Oh, no. Especially because that could have been a blight and that would have been obviously a lot worse. Can't use the triage kit either. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big problems. Big problems, dude. Thankfully, going to be a Maz again, but... This ain't great. Oh, please stop that. Oh, you got to stop doing that right now. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. I do not like this. Jesus. Let's go for a little bit of running and hiding. I feel like that's definitely the play for her right now. That's better. Okay. Good torn, good torn order. Good turn order that time, at least. So he'll be able to actually do something, but obviously... Oh, that's a timely regen there. Thank you very much for that. I guess I could just get rid of this. That's a pretty good play. And again, we want Maz prioritized, so we're all right with that. Get to save the Plague Doctor here. Thank goodness. Oh, that sucks. All right, she's off at Death's Door, at least, right? She's got the big blight, obviously, and that's terrible, but it'd be worse. We don't want this thing dead. We don't want infinite maws. All right, this is very scary here, of course. All right, Plague Doctor turn order is right, but sadly this thing's going to hit her once, so she's... Oh, wait, she's stealth, but I don't know if it matters. I don't think it does. 
All right, she's, we got to cross our fingers again here. And, oh, that sucks to lose, too. Okay, come on. Please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. Cutting this extremely close here. Hey, Cookie, how you doing? Well, that'll fucking work. Wow. <laughs> what a roller coaster they went through. Yay. Another regen. Bounty Hunter coming up clutch here, too. Okay, so the Caltrips cannot reach the baby here. We just got to do this. Hopefully that's a weaken. Indeed it is. That's really good. It'll hopefully keep the Hellion off of Death's Door from that attack, which it wouldn't have if it wasn't weakened. So very convenient. Stealth doing nothing for us here, which is always great. Oh, man. I feel like I should probably go ahead and pop the triage kit just to be safe. That's the smart thing to do, and we all know it before I do this and ultimately just kill the child. Yeah, I knew it. I know. Just got to waste that real quick. It's fine, but I guess she's going to be a lot better off for the next fight anyway. But yay, we did it. Some pretty good loot there, too. Got the ghastly gruel, stagecoach, storage trunk, brilliant brew for our plague doctor. Looking good. Looking good. I'm not going to blame you for being safe. Yeah, no, I think that was the right play. I think that was the right call. There you go. Runaway? Yeah. Yeah, give that to the runaway. We're using Cauterize a bunch. Cool. There we go. Uh, that's not going <coughs> to... Pardon me. That's not going to help us. This is good. This is fine for the runaway, too. Actually, I kind of want her to have these just to... It just feels right. There you go. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. We do have the uh, Infernal Flame equipped now, don't we? So, we can actually use this instead of... Well, I'm pretty happy with everything else, actually. Yeah. I don't really want to change anything, so let's just go ahead and dump that and that, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, better to heal safely than not at all. Amen to that. And let's go ahead and take a couple of extra fights here, actually. I feel safe enough. We're going to be able to handle a road battle and probably be able to heal up a little bit from it. So let's do that. Festering impasse. Tended by toothy fiends. All right. Let's see. I like that. Definitely going to upgrade our smoke screen in the next... Uh, in here if we well we'll have the mastery points i'm sure my chance actually pretty damn high still i feel like i should go ahead and heal though we're very low already we got an occultist waiting for us danny he's got that already but of course i'm not gonna be able to hit him in that position so i think a howling end should be able to take care of this thing let's do a flashbang on you the blind on that. Let's hope for the days, too. That's okay. At least got her to miss the Plague Doctor with that. Cauterize here coming up. Thankfully, resisted the move as well. There you go. Yeah, Unfortunate. That's fortunate, though. Glad he chose to do that. Oh, there's the ghastly gruel popping. Stress is becoming a bit of a problem. I'm gonna let the cauterize take care of that. I think I just want to have her finish this thing off. Nice. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. Not too bad. We can take that. Let's let the caltrips maybe. Oh, flashbang, not caltrips, damn it. That's the one I wanted to do. Hey, we recycled the combo, though. That's good. And he tongue lashed again. That's even better. Let's, uh, yeah. That iron swan set up a wicked hack, maybe. Ooh, stress healed even off of that. That's about as good as it, as it gets with that result. That's Thor as well. She's got regen, unfortunately, somehow. 
I don't think I need to cauterize. Let's start a burn there. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to land a blight to negate this or just kill her. There we go. Straightforward. And he'll probably eat a corpse or something. Or just do that. Seems a lot more effective. I agree with the decision. All right, stress ain't so bad. Certainly need to heal the runaway a little bit if we can. Suppose that's the disadvantage of putting the gas that gruel on her. A calculated generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Oh boy, yeah, this bounty hunter seems like he's in pretty good shape now, doesn't he? Let's go for the flashbang again. Do crits have bonus death blow chance? That's a great question. I don't know. I assume so. I feel like they should. I don't, know, I don't know the answer, though. Hey, Splinky. Yeah, happy Friday to you. Do, do, do. Oh, shit. I did not realize this was timed. There we go. Let's get moving, folks. Let's get the job done here. No more slacking off. Goodbye. Hey, Sandy, you Tofu. Thank you. I believe crits ignored 20% death blow. Flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. That sounds right, and I choose to believe it. I'll take you at face value. Are there any quirks I need to get rid of with that? Maybe misses the mark, but that would be probably coming at the cost of braggart. I don't really want to do that. Also, might get rid of Sprawl Scrounger, not that that matters all that much. There you go. Really? I kind of want to fight it, but... I don't know, how are y'all feeling? Yeah, I could go for that. It's free. Yeah, sure. I'm on a limited schedule today. Anyway, I need to speed this up. All right, I can't not. Barry, you have such a nice voice, and to be honest, underneath those baggy clothes, probably a pretty nice body, too. Would be hilarious to take a shower together as a prank, LOL. See, the problem with that is I'm not actually this person. This is a... You, you may, it may be your first time here. This is a highly advanced animatronic. I'm a real bear. I'm an animal. I'm a wild animal. I will kill you. I'm dangerous. Dude, I, I, I know that sounds like I'm being... Suffering begins. Uh, like I'm... I, like it might be a little suggestive. No, like I'm literally... Like lethal to humans. You should not be around me. It's a bad idea. Look, I feel like the more I say these things, the more incentivized you are to be like, yeah, I'm going for it. No. Talking about like actual just carnage, man. You got to stay far away. Warning, danger. Man, this is just easy mode right now. Speaking of which, take heart and do not relent. A little blight for you, yeah. According to the wiki, crit ignores twenty percent of resist on an enemy. All right, confirm. Nice. There we go. They falter, so press your advance. We learned something. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Stimulant's not bad either, honestly, for the end game. Oh, sick. We got a hero shrine, too. These guys are all done, right? Yeah. I think we're finished with the hero shrines again. Right? Because I'm pretty sure the highwayman was the last one. So I think we might be done. Cool. That means the... Candles are next. And yeah, of course, free mastery point too. I could probably hit a creature down here. That seems seems pretty doable. 
Feels like it's been a while. Although, again, I am kind of on a time restriction, so maybe I should avoid it. Ahead, a bestial refuge. But here I go. Bones and less identifiable remains. But now you can't blame any losses on lack of the right skills. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? A convenient scapegoat. Mine no longer. A convenient combo hit there to take out the uh, the fourth rank right away. Very nice. It's as though it was never there. An unavoidable end. Now the uh, bounty hunter meets the hero shrine with a disgruntled ug. Fittingly for his character. I mean, when you can kill the first enemy with a howling end for 30 damage, how do you not start with that skill every time? You tell me. Yeah, that's what they're targeting, Cedric. They emptied their larders, gorging themselves as the world began to crumble. Only relics we got. That's not bad. Sharpen your blades, that we may properly excise our portion. Nice buffs there, but no relationship encounters. I guess that's the way to go, though. Tarantism time, yeah. Probably. Ah, yeah, probably. Shit. Hey, Spooters. I got a magnesium rain for you. In fact... Ah, I mean, it's probably just going to miss them all. It seems like a bit of a waste. Let's go for this, I guess. Okay, thank you. Hey, Coma. There we are. One down. Todd just cleared. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, that doesn't... All right, that doesn't remove it. Okay. Well, shit. Could do that. Not a bad idea. Calibrating, of course. Going to restore that strength token, so goodbye. Crit for 40, sure. I'll take it. So this is going good. This is a this is a fairly good start for us here in the creature den, and he's dead. We'll toe to toe, clear the winded. That'll do it. Round two. More spooners! Oh boy. Wow! Through the dodge plus with the crit. An unavoidable end. Let's get that one taken care of then. Why not? Is this one a little high yeah? How about this one? That'll do it. Easiest creature den ever? Ooh, a stun, yikes. Sadly, it's not going to be at the indiscriminate science threshold, I don't think. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. Goodbye, Spooter. A steady subtraction. An invariable result. Yeah, I'll take a shot on the Noxious Blast here, I think. Very nice. Not quite there on the damage, though. 
Do we need to do another? Oh my god, really? Wow. Oh, that one's gone. Nice stress heal, good stuff. Variable can make all the difference. That was an incredibly easy creature den. Only six rounds, which sounds like a lot, but then the creature den is definitely on the lower end. Sadly, she's not going to be able to heal off this despite having taken so many hits. But well, we're good to go. Come on, mastery. Nice. And... Okay, yeah, not bad. I'll take it. Certainly not the one I'm hoping for, but not the worst one. How many bobbles we got? A decent amount, too. Yeah, that might help. Let's go this way. Same result, but with the road battle. This is no place for decent folk. Oh, shit. Well, thankfully, those are useless. You know, make some inventory space, though. There we go. You can have this. You can have this. Oh, never mind. We're good. Can't use the money trinket yet. No, we need 75 of each, I believe. It's still a ways off, and we're probably going to be spending a lot of these in the next end, too. Might have to wait till later on that. Got to keep that in mind, actually. That might be something I want to save a lot of my relics and baubles for at the very end of the run in case I want to try to use that in my final fight build. There we go. Oh, wow. Stupefied. Shit. Bummer. Man, that stress is just in a really inconvenient spot right now. Although, I guess if I was to Rockets Revelry here, that's where it would end up anyway, so. Not all that different, is it? Quick cauterize. I'll try a flashbang here. There we go. Magnesium rain. Great stress heal. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's on cooldown. Right. Or, no. She's in the front. That's why she can't do it. Ew. Oh. All right. Now I can do that. Feels a little better. Need you to die, grabbing desperately and stunning inconveniently, and thankfully not allowing him to stealth. If blighted, then we gonna hurl bat. Such a good skill. Love that skill. I don't know why I did a wicked hack there. I'm pretty sure Howling End was up. All right. The work continues. Wow, that was convenient. Thank you. Another one, maybe? A simple variable. All right. Easily resolved. Well said, Wayne. Well said. I mean, I don't hate that, but I'm pretty sure I've already got stuff that's a lot better than it. Let's see. What food do we have right now? None besides the slime mold, so I should probably hang on to that. Probably get rid of this. And I don't think I need the whittling tools. I really don't think I need this, honestly. That can probably go, yeah. Hang on to the rest for now. Alright, assistance encounter, unknown, and then off of the guardian. Food, please? Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. There's what we need. Definitely don't need that. Probably don't need that still. And don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. There we go. Another road fight. 
Eventful first region is what we're looking for, though. We gotta get these bonuses early on, and we have done so pretty successfully here. Got the trophy, too. Damn fine start. Well, that would be if we were keeping either of them, honestly, horizontal at that point. Okay. Yeah, this is obviously not a fight we're too worried about. Oh, I can't even hurl bad from the second rank. No wonder I haven't been doing it very often. I think I want to keep him in the second spot, though. I'm pretty sure that's the best place for him right now. All right, so he's already dead. We'll probably go for a Noxious Blast. Actually, we'll go for Magnesium Randy Quay that dodges on the dogs. Oh, perfect. Please let him watchdog him, too. I'm begging you. Do, 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 do. Uh, cultist cookie. Got enough interactions? And damn. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Alright, not bad, not bad. I know how to do it. Smoke screen here. Love it. Oh, this is going too well, honestly. Suspiciously well. Double blind there. That's unfortunate. Miss it. Uh -huh. I think magnesium's still on cooldown. Definitely going to cauterize that. Help impeccably time. Healing from the runaway looking really good now. Oh, yucky. We gotta fix that too. Okay. Nice. Bring her back up to near full strength and then. Eh, this is fine. We'll get a strength token out of it. Full marks of the unprepared. Got her as again. Do I sense a Shambler in our future? I welcome it, man. A Shambler. Shambler needs a buff, I think. Shambler ain't scary anymore. Shambler, we, we are happy to see a Shambler at this point. Y'all are getting too many tokens right now. I don't like it. Stop it. Stop critting, damn it. He's a poop. They are protecting each other. It is adorable, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to hard to feel like I'm the bad or hard to feel like I'm the good guy right now. Yeah, no, especially murdering his friend in front of him. Yeah, that's pretty uh That's pretty cruel, Bear. Welcome to the Bear. Oh, but I got a sub for it, so I'm validated. Okay. PH of zero! He's the prime. Come on in, bear hugs, please. There we go. Just knock that out real quick. There we go. Just another insistence encounter here, so kind of a dull ending to the region, unfortunately, but I'll take it. I've got a lot of value out of it already. Got a couple extra candles, too. That's nice. We bullied Shambler so much that now he fears us. Yeah, ultimately what's happened now is Facing oblivion. he's playing These a game have kept their honor. Have you where where he is is like terrified to encounter us. Like we're the we're the special boss encounter for him. Yeah, you sure are compassionate, aren't you, buddy? Ooh, very nice. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. That'll do. Let's dispose of the wild tea. Not really necessary at the moment. I can probably get rid of this one as well. I don't think we need bread, actually. I think we got plenty of other food right now. And then bandages aren't as important. 
Holy water is not as important. Let's get rid of that, too. There we go. Okay. Hey, thanks, Nexus. Yeah, chandelier is nice, especially this early on. That should help us out with the inventory a lot. In fact, that storage trunk should make it so it hopefully isn't too big of an issue anymore. Should be able to stockpile a few more things. Stress is looking bad. Hopefully no meltdowns here. Let's do it. Oh, that's right. We got the uh, Harvest Bounty Trophy, too, so inventory definitely shouldn't be a problem. I guess we're not really going to need those other things all that much. That'll be nice. It's always good to be able to ignore the stagecoach inventory for the most part. And that'll, of course, set up a revelry right away. The Pony of Shadow. There you are. Thank you for the 13. Welcome back in. The Bear Hug's coming for him, please. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. I think we just try to deal some damage up front. Bear Hugs, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I need a revelry. Way too greedy to do a howling in there. Toe-to-toe -to -toe most likely coming up, though. Glad they don't have the crits, at least. I can deal with stealth. Excellent nice crit there, speaking of which. Oh, weird pony. Well, thank you anyway. Appreciate it. Dissection. An unavoidable end. One damage away with the DOT on the altar. Definitely gonna focus that. Let's see here. Pretty sure this is still the play, even though I'm obviously gonna miss it. Boy, this thing is. Really resilient right now. Those tokens really worked out for it. And sadly, this thing's going to survive this turn as well. Thankfully, been able to manage the stress pretty well, but... They're getting a lot of... Yeah, Jesus. Well, this seems good here, I guess. That should do it for the altar. No need for the noisemaker the second time. Let's see if we can... I guess, actually, that's a much more effective way to do this, isn't it? Yeah. Get rid of a couple of blocks at a time there. No need to cauterize yet. Let's go ahead and get more burn going in the back, hopefully. Ah, damn. Lord Redden! And Blasky! Three months. Blasky. Two months from Lord, and welcome back, guys. Thank you very much. Lots and lots of resubs today. Really appreciate all that support, you guys. Thank you for being here. And glad you're enjoying the DD2, as am I. And methodical appliance of harm. The regen is finally gone here. I think it's also finally blow the nose time. Ah, oh, that's an unfortunate miss. But it does open this up. It's a little better. Hopefully, recycle a combo. No luck. Not quite there on the DOT, so we're going to have to go ahead and try to get that going again, too. But eh, it's just got to rise. Let's be safe. This wound, at least, has been tended to. We were safe. All right. Good stress healing, too. Okay, we managed to take care of that fairly well. That feels better. Probably need one more by the end of it, but... Oh, this thing. God damn you. Okay, that's at least should be weakened. Yep. Oh, 
Okay, that's not as terrible as it could have been, I guess. Holy hell. Um, I kind of want to go for that. That's a bit of a gamble, though. It's a huge gamble, but okay. Oh, it's dead already. What am I doing? There. Let's do this. Follow it up with a flashbang. I got the blind and the days. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Can't revelry this turn. There we go. All right, we're feeling fine now. Cause you're gone. You got a little regen here too. That'll work. Let's try a mark. Hopefully get the vulnerable there. Very nice. And then kaboom. Good stuff. I like a howling end here, too. Unless... No, let's do another revelry. Definitely the better play. She's blinded as well. Hopefully I'll miss her crit. Nice. And then we can do, like, one of these, maybe. Or even just this, but obviously that's way better. Might even cauterize our bounty hunter. I don't think he really needs it, honestly. She might be dead. Not bad, dude. An invariable result. The Wayne Not bad. Eager to ply his trade. And there is our dark impulse. Okay, that is exciting stuff. Pretty good one, too, actually. I'm happy with that one. Off we go. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I think... I want to try to use this one, too, so... Get rid of the poetry, and... Ah, oh man. Five baubles, I guess. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? God damn it. I'm gonna regret it when I see the prices of things with the discount on trinkets. When I get to the end, I'm gonna be like, oh no, if only I had kept those five baubles that I threw away at the end of the region. So I could afford this cool thing, but now I can't. Oh no. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. That's... that's no good. Okay. See you later, Bounty Hunter. Welcome back, Shane. Alright. Butcher's Feast. <laughs> oh, god damn it! Oh, that's the... okay, I thought that was the default effect from the inn for a second. The minus 50% trinket prices. I thought it was gonna stack. Conventional fare. But fairly priced. Alright, I don't know when I'm ever gonna say this again, but thankfully the trinkets are terrible. No temptations, really. Medical equipment would be nice, but I'm not too hurt. I'm missing that. Every road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. And for the tangle. And yeah, we want to hang out to our baubles anyway for that trinket we got, so it's probably a lot more important. No need for that anymore. That's just a visual glitch. Uh, let's see. Wainwright Your first. Must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of those. Oh wait, no, just put this on first. Let them know us by our reputation. And some weird visual glitches in here. Experimentation. Your academic instincts serve you well. Okay, and then I don't know why I got rid of that thing. One learns quickly when survival demands it. What was I going to do with that first upgrade? I think it was smoke screen. And then let's get the howling end as well. I like the iron swan for more combo. Raucous revelry, honestly, might be a good idea. 
Uh, yeah, that extra death door resist is cool too, but I don't know how big of a factor it's going to be. Improve his heal. And then... Let's do... Oh, boy. Stab? I think so. I want to be able to use the burning stars more often. I like that. Pipe weed is good. Let's see how things are looking after we do our first things, though. They like the drink. They like the cards fairly well, too. Very good. Certainly going to be able to stockpile stuff now. Friendly here. Ooh, one away. Occultist's Plague Doctor. Let's go ahead and get that right now. Very nice. Two facets of the same stone. Never one without the other. Another pipe weed, why not? Get the armor repair kit. The rigors of the road. I feel like this is probably worth going for, too. Alright, that's enough spending. Yo, thank you still. Appreciate that. That was a fun one. That was a good time. I think we'll try this on you. Yeah. Well, hold on. How about cerebral? Yeah. Well... And you know, I don't really want to get rid of Braggard, but Mrs. The Mark is bad enough to where I think I'd rather get closer to getting rid of it. So who's going to have, uh, not misstep, Temptation? Who's going to have a 50% extra action chance? Let's give it to you. Why not? You don't have anything equipped yet. That's the easiest way to do it. Cool. Sounds good. Extra heal, potentially. I think it's fitting for him, too. That feels like he should have it. I think we're off here. Oh, we still have Pulsing Heart to equip, actually. Hold on. Let's go ahead and give this to you. Yeah, that's way better. And, yeah, I'm okay with losing that. Actually, that's a really nice benefit. Maybe I should keep this. Maybe give this to, like, the Runaway? That's not a bad idea. Or you. you give Nautical Compass to somebody else. I feel like that extra duration dealt is super good. I don't want to replace anything there. I feel like I could probably do that. The extra duration dealt for the Blight is really good too, though. That's a really nice trinket, man. I don't know. Hard to decide right now. We got a lot of really good stuff. I feel like having these two on her is going to be optimal. So let's roll with this until I have this threshold met. And then we'll swap these two on. That seems pretty good. I think we're ready. Let's hit it. Off to the tangle. Will we make it through? Place your bets with the bare bucks. War. Rewards only. Resignation. What about the other stain trinket? That one's going to be tempting too, yeah. Once we get another Dark Impulse, I'll have to have a look at whether or not I want to put that on somebody, because that is a pretty good one. Getting that massive speed bonus. They revel in debauchery, debasing themselves in the face of the end. Full agreement on bailing here. Don't mind if I do. Let's just make sure I've got the best benefit from it. I think the Hellion's probably good. Although, actually... Oh, no. Okay, that's fine then. Fine with me, dude. Let's head to the Hero Shrine, and let's actually just follow that path to the left for the most part until we hit the Creature Den. That should work. Not too eager about getting extra mastery points in here. I wouldn't mind going through this area pretty quickly, in fact. Let's see if we can make that happen. I'm going to cash early on either. Honestly, the more items, the better. We got a, a lot of inventory space now. Ooh, look at this. 
A scout too, very good. Hopefully he didn't just interrupt it there. That's a lot of really nice stuff as well. Okay, hopefully that... Wow, that is super helpful. I might just go ahead and go to the hospital here as well, although... Wouldn't be bad to just... Maybe we just go Creature Den, Hero Shrine, Hospital. Yeah, that seems really, really good. Lair is tempting. I do want to go fight the general with this team. I think they would crush it. But that's pretty good, too. We could even go for the immobilization trophy for the end while... Or when the... Uh, when the inventory trophy becomes less important. Okay, so he immediately got another action. Already in love with this trinket. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Try to get the DOT started on these guys. Very nice. Definitely gonna... I was gonna say definitely gonna protect here, but... I don't know, would've looked dumb. Good thing I didn't say it. Well done. Nice hit. Solid damage. Let's kill it. One unchecked power and another action. Well done. Okay, I'm already in love with this double action occultist. That's fantastic. At the, co at the mere cost of 50% death's door resist. Guffaw, I say. Let them have it. They can take it. They can take 100 for all I care. Make it so he doesn't even have death's door. Just make him die at zero HP. For all I care. 50% extra turn we chance. Come on. Burning brightly for it's ridiculous. All the world to see. It's insane. Super good. Mastery point there, too. What do you know? Don't need that store if you never take damage. That's right, man. Hell, if you want to give me a third chance in an extra action for another 50%, I'll take it, man. Deal, Howie. Okay. Okay. Hanging a left here. Hanging a left. Unless... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you insist, we'll go to the freaking Oblivion's Ingress. Loathing is kind of high, I guess. Echoes of humanity. Twisted by hopelessness. Hello. Here we go. A star-spawned child. Of the infinite void. Yay! <laughs> this is good. I'm very happy. Looking forward to this. Oh, that shuffle's pretty bad, though. That sucks. Might even Warhorn here, actually. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Can always try to save it, though. Yeah, that's probably just going to have to be a move forward, right? Yeah. Man, that shuffles. Really fricking us up early on, sadly. That's an ordained uh, tentacle there, too. That's interesting. Second action. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Love it. All right. Worth a vulnerable here to go ahead and do this. Try to burn on both. Very nice. Blinded, unfortunately. Didn't matter there. Only one blight, thankfully. They took the combo off that for a regen that didn't really matter, so good there, too. Now, we don't want to toe-to-toe -to -toe here. I think I just want to go ahead and move forward so that we can... Maybe we do want to toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Okay. So be it. Kind of fine with me, actually. You can be there, too, you know? Yeah, that's not the worst thing in the world. Blinded again. Vulnerable again. Fantastic. Looking good to start here. Okay. No need for that anymore. Let's just keep stabbing. 
Because this will enable his burning stars eventually. Not too worried about the Shambler at the moment. He is sadly... Oh my god, really? Okay. That sucks. I just have to revelry here, actually. Uh, thankfully, that enables the burning star, so that's pretty good. Just one howling in, though, man. Steady yourself. See these vulnerables the, the entire time. This would be nice, though. Puts the combo back on. Uh, I think I should do that. Fantastic. Maybe the blind will kick in once for his attack. Not that time. Oh boy. Gotta get into a position where I can use the battlefield medicine again, so I'm probably just gonna have to move her back. And then we'll toe to toe and hopefully prevent the shuffle again. Goodbye. Let's get the vulnerability hex on there. Or not. Do our best. Nah, I still don't think we need Warhorn here. We'll be okay. She's got a howling in to take care of this thing, and then we're just going to keep burning. The Shambler itself. Do need to be a little worried about the Runaway's HP. We got two healers for a reason. Yeah, it's all free DOTs. Obviously not good. It doesn't able to cauterize on her, thankfully, so we'll probably just go ahead and do that right away. You got a drop, apparently. Okay, that's... Confusing, but yay. A little help impeccably time. Hell of a heal from the occultist there too, actually. That was really nice. I think this is just a tentacle, right? Yeah, and we got the blight there too. That's really good. Steady yourself. There's DD2 drops? I didn't even know that was a thing. Cool. That's neat. Alright, come on, at least one of those. One of those one time. An interminable conflict. All right, still probably just do this. There we go. Strength from that as well. That's pretty nice. I think I need to try to kill him, but I think the Hellion's hit is going to be a lot more effective at doing that. He's already down to death's door off the DOT, so probably just go ahead and heal again here. Weakened? Yep. Didn't miss a single attack off the blind this fight. That has been really unlucky. Let's just try to kill him. There we go. Boy, this might be a meltdown, though. That's really unfortunate. Probably is. In fact, it definitely is. That sucks. Jeez. really feel like I shouldn't have had to deal with the meltdown off of this. Like... Probably if any of those Shambler hits misses, we don't have to deal with that here. That's just pretty bum luck. Oh, well, t thankfully it uh, didn't cost us any relationships. Now the stress is in a pretty decent spot, so can't complain too much, really. Can still cauterize that up front, of course. Might be better to do it on him, though. She's gonna be a, a lot easier to heal. Calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. You really didn't. You truly did not. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Obviously, gonna need to heal this. Great heal again from the occultist. Certainly been there when we called his name. And look at that. Nice. Lock that in. Lock that in. Two facets of the same stone. Never one without the other. And why not do another giant heal? Save the day, dude. You mad at him for being awesome? That's fair. It's okay to be jealous. 
Hey, Mad Morning. All right, stress is still kind of bad. I feel like I need to pop another Rockets Revelry before the end of this. 60 heals, yeah, not bad. Not too shabby, dude. <laughs> Good lord. Cauterize, not available anymore. We'll just have to do this. No luck there, but definitely need to do a revelry. Hope for the best off of this. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, apparently the stealth counts for that. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. Neato, dude. We did it. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. There we go. That's the stuff. That's what I'm talking about. I think that's immediately going to make me want to do this. Because look at this. Look at this combination. Nautical Compass will either add a positive token... Or, if it adds the stress, we'll add a positive token. Seems pretty good. And then every other trinket is still pretty much set, so I got no need to hang on to these things. And I might just go ahead and dump this, too, but I guess we got plenty of inventory space still. Let's use this there. I don't need to use that, I don't think. I'm going to hang on to these, obviously, and then you can go like that. There we go. Cool. Still looking for a dark impulse here, too, so we might be able to unlock the uh, potential for the uh, other stained item we got. We'll see. Really nice relationship encounter here, too. I'll take this. Hellion's getting closer with those guys. Sturdy enemies. More max HP. This will stop the uh, cherubs from their first action. That's really nice. And let's see how we're going to start this one here. I think I like vulnerability hex on the front rank. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice crit off that. Fantastic. Thank you, blind. Stimulants. No. Save those. Trying to clear some of these. Well, now let's do this. Let the magnesium rain clear the dodges here and hopefully stack another vulnerable up front. Nice miss. Wow, this has gone perfectly so far. All right, Hellion, what you got? Hello? Oh, turn end, right? Yeah, I forgot that's how that worked. Um, there you go. Still got a combo up front, too. Ha ha. Try seeing things. No, you did it pretty well. Okay. Let's see. This will give us a... The unchecked power, at least. We'll go ahead and take that. I was hoping for the, the second stab for the kill, but so be it. And stress is getting kind of high on her, isn't it? Start a burn in the back. An unavoidable end. And then do that. There we go. She took the stress and got no token. Oh, really? I didn't notice. That sucks. I wonder why. Yeah, later on, JJ. Thanks for hanging. Ooh, that'll probably be a fifth stress point there. Yep. It's a crit, though. I wonder if Revelry crits. Probably, which sadly, of course, is going to be a waste. 
Let's do this combo burn here, I think. Make sure this thing's done. I kind of want to heal here, but I don't think I need to. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Get the taunt going up front here. And then we revelry. Look at all those interactions, my god. Maybe token interactions specifically don't trigger it. That would be so weird, though. Because it's just stress damage being caused from it, right? So it should interact the same way you would think. It's a little disappointing if it doesn't do that. Good old inseparable. Sadly, also capable of things like um, Amorous is. There we go. Get rid of this. Should be a big hit, yeah. The slow suffering begins. I'm gonna need a little cauterize here. Do, 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 do. Oh, he is so good, dude. He's so good, he can already burning stars again. I love this occultist now. This wound at least has been tended to. Excellent. Might as well. Or I guess I shouldn't have done that. My apologies. Squandered. Look at this absolute champion, dude. Probably ready to go with another action right there, too. The past is gone. Let it die. Indeed did get the dark impulse. Very nice. Another mastery point. Some boxing gloves, too. Good stuff. The loathing abates. All right. Very happy here. So... The snap judgment. We got to decide whether or not it's worth it to give up some trinkets for plus 10 speed and a speed token at the start of every round, basically ensuring that this character acts first every single turn. Would be pretty damn good on a plague doctor in my mind. But that's, of course, giving up her benefits. Honestly, though, I think I'm going to do it. I think it's worth it. It sounds really good. Which means I think I'm going to go ahead and put the Pulsing Heart on our Runaway. Can she cauterize herself? She can, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I'm doubting that right now. So if that's the case, then this feels pretty damn good. Again, I guess I don't really need to get rid of stuff, do I? She can. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think she could for some reason. So, we're looking for 75 relics and baubles at this point. And at that point, we'll probably swap the nautical compass for the clarifying... Car carcinet? I guess is how you say that. Carcanet? Since apparently the combo where I'm going for doesn't work as well as I wanted it to, and the nautical compass is... A little worse than that, I think. I think the stress damage positive token one is a little bit better than the Nautical Compass as well. Alright, so she's going to be starting every single round now. Let's see. Let's do... Oh yeah, they've got all the bonus move resist now, so let's just go for some removal of block, I suppose. Even though that's certainly not the best way to do it. Nor does the Hellion really give a damn. She should probably go ahead and do some more, uh... Some more stress healing here, too. I really need to avoid the meltdown still. I don't want to wait for her to get to five, but 
But he shouldn't, given the circumstances. Yeah, that's... that's gonna get bad. God, I wish... Ounce of prevention was still a thing. <laughs> but I know why it's not. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. But I miss it so much. It was so good. You can't give me such a good thing and then take it away. It's mean. All right, have a little party. There we go. Let's do this. Hopefully get a second one coming. There we go. Get that knife back out, buddy. Oh, boy. Okay. Really going after her. Do, do, do. Oh, sorry, I missed this earlier. I meant to, I meant to read it. Bear, do you ever miss the structure of DD1? I'm having a hard time getting invested in two the way I did with the first one, and it's bumming me out. You're certainly not the first person I've heard say that. Suppose the DD2 roguelike structure isn't for everybody, and they certainly knew that when they went this route with it. What is happening with her? Oh, she's got the... F oh, no. I don't know about this thing, actually. I don't think it's going to be worth it. That's a pretty bad debuff now that I realize how that's going to affect her. Uh, that's probably... We're probably going to have to swap that back off, actually. Yeah, the speed's not worth it. That's a massive debuff. We need Taunt up right now. A Trinket would be better on something like a Venom Drop that would be in stealth half the time. Yeah, that's true. Zero to five weird reconstruction. Yeah, that's, that's never going to be a very tempting offer. Healing herself for one. It's crazy. Yep, alright. I guess we're just gonna have to hope for the best here. This guy's already dead, so I think we just stab away. Stab away, Shane. Stab away. Smallest variable can make all the difference. All right. Should only be the healing from skills, though, so you can find another source of healing. Ah, okay, yeah, that's an interesting consideration, but... Well, it takes all your trinket slots, so that's not going to be an option. Otherwise, I guess there could be, like, combat items, but that's certainly not something you really want to rely on. It's a bad idea. Do, 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 do. Really hope we can get a revelry off here. Should be able to. I guess I might as well do. <laughs> Never mind, okay. I guess that one's just as bad as Amorous, it turns out. Whoopsie. Try again? Hey, there we go. One more health than we had. All right. Hey, there we go. Nice. That's a good end result there. It's an even better one. Hooray. An unexpected find. Good stuff. All right, so just as an early heads up, y'all, while we're uh, nearing the end of Region 2 here, I may mention this earlier on, but I am probably going to have to split this run in half. 
as we're already coming up on 11 a.m. local time, and I got to be ready for an appointment window, so. And just keep that in mind as we're getting up to our next in here. We're going to have to do this one in two parts. And yeah, let's go ahead and get that meditative totem, too. I know we're still trying to pile up these relics and baubles, but that one is going to be good for trying to get rid of Mrs. The Mark on the Hellion. Oh, right. Yeah, we got to swap those trinkets, too. Good call. Okay, so I had... Actually, the burn duration on her is pretty good, too. It's kind of a fun combo for her. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that thing. Okay. Looking good. You guys again. Jeez. Okay, we're going to go for a Howling right away off that Strength token. Pretty good. Let's see. Heal time? That's more like it. That's better, dude. Like smoke screen here. Take the guard off of him. Eh, I don't think I need to do that. Try to kill this dude before his next action. Oh, never mind. Howl! means it's revelry time. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Another blight. That'll do it. Death's door. That'll be a cauterize. And let's go with... Uh, let's just stab here yet. Another work. Calculated generosity. There's the bleed on her. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Oh, they are taking a lot of hits to that. Speed token here. That's pretty convenient. That ought to give us a uh, howling end before the blight. Begins. I think. That might still be on cooldown. Yeah, okay. That's not quite enough, so. Toe to toe it is. It'll be on death's door at least. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get at least one more revelry off before the end of this one, too. And sadly, stress is still in just a terrible spot. Another crit. Goddamn. Get the kill, bud. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. We'll get that burning stars next turn. We're we'll trying to get the blind on him as well. And then let's just clear this corpse. Make things easier. Hopefully get the burn going too. There we go. Two for four ain't bad off the magnesium rain, man. Not bad at all. All right, please tell me you're not gonna have a meltdown here. I think we're okay. All right, all right, looking all right. Vulnerable, nope, never mind. not that time. Revelry though, there we go. Staying just off the edge of it, but gee whiz, that nautical compass is certainly not something I wish I had equipped now. Oh my god, inseparable. Just as friggin' bad as Amorous, isn't it? Basically the same thing. Alright, not quite Death's Door yet. Let's see if we can get there off this. Weakened here, blinded here. Doesn't matter. Still gonna hurt. Uh, let's see. I don't think we really need to worry about the HP. Let's just get out of here. Persistence Ooh, will boy. overcome even the greatest of threats. Not in the greatest of shape, but hey, another mastery point. I'll take it in the songbook of rousing tunes as well. Cool. Creature den, huh? Oh boy. I don't know if they've even got the time for that. And spirit by some existential shock. The poor devils roam aimlessly amidst the tree. It's become uh one headphone on time as I need to be able to listen for the doorbell too. 
Uh, hopefully I can just push on and complete the region here. I just might have to leave my desk for a second. Oh, boy. I don't want to leave just because I don't have time, but I actually think this might be the best play because I'm pretty sure that'll get us their relationship, right? Yeah, I'm going to do this just for that. Okay. Cost us the creature den benefits, but gets us hopeful. So, you know, Aspiration unites decent trade. Hopeful. I feel like we've got a lot of mastery points out of this region already, so I feel like we can probably sacrifice those for that. Yeah, we already got six, so we're doing pretty good there. And then we really don't have the time to go to this general fight, unfortunately. In different circumstances, I would probably welcome it. But yet again, this is kind of a situation where we don't need the trophy. We don't need the mastery points as much. I think the Oasis actually might be the better play here. We need the stress healing off of that. The spring water that hopefully we'll find here will be really good. And then usually the relationship benefit is huge from here too, so... Circumstances may be saving you from yourself. Yeah, for real, right. Some of the candles too. Yeah, this is a really good Oasis here. And then the hospital, of course, which, you know, we're going to sacrifice candles for that as well, but the hospital should be massively helpful here. It's going to get us a passive stress heal to boot. And should find some laudanum from that to hopefully help us out in the upcoming guardian fight. Reduce the stress a bit that way. Yeah, I think this ultimately was the best choice. Despite the fact that I probably would have gone for the general otherwise. Oh yeah, get rid of sepsis too. Hell yeah, I forgot about that. So we can just get rid of Mrs. The Mark here, but I think I'd rather just take a chance on the Meditative Totem doing that. Save the relics. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. I think that's a pretty good use of the hospital, too. So there we go. Get those on you. Four spring water is pretty fantastic. I might even go ahead and just throw one of those on somebody right away. Oh, what do we clear? Damn. I think we lost the runaway plague doctor, maybe. Lost one of our good relationships there, though. That's a bummer. Is the general fun yet? They haven't really changed it, but I've learned to like the fight a little bit more because I've gotten better at it, I think. I was also able to uh, win a fight against him where I pretty much did a damage race. And being able to do that was pretty satisfying, too. Yeah, that general fight with that much stress, honestly, that probably would have been Meltdown City, so we might have just seen the end of the run there anyway. I think we made the right choice. All right, Iron Swan, yeah. She's been getting a lot of speed tokens from that. Why am I not Revelry there? That was really dumb. That's that's a that's a whoops. I think it is time to use this. Obviously, another waste of a strength. That's okay. Let's get a pull. And then... Yeah, let's let's do this on her, I think. Because she's fairly likely to get another point. And then she'll have the most effective revelry next turn, ideally. Of course, the possibility of her acquiring more exists, too, and we're hoping that doesn't happen. I think I'll do this, too. Just to make sure she can do her revelry first. A slow dissection. That's a dead cherub. An unavoidable end. That's a nice dodge there, too. Very good. Although, I guess I kind of wanted her to take that one, but that's fine. I could do a howling end here, too, actually. That's certainly not a bad idea. Let's do that. Bravo! 47 goddamn damage. Hopefully get a kill for the occultist here and set up the unchecked power a little bit. Got some stress healed from that too. One down. And double action. Let's go. Corpse cleared. Altar to the front. Combo applied. This is going really great. Well done. Land the combo. Land the blind. Land the vulnerable. Love it. Light with the strength there is going to be very close to the kill on the altar. I keep wanting to put my headphone back on. <laughs> oh, he saved the cherub, you son of a bitch. 
Eh, the stress point there, too. God, that sucks. Another miss there. That's nice. Should be dead from this. Should be dead from... Oh, jeez. He got two more actions and two more stress points. From me assuming he would be dead. God damn it. That's unfortunate. Well, he should be dead now, at least. And then... Hey, look at that. Not bad either, dude. Toe to toe ought to do it, right? Yeah. That'll work. Holy shit. Maybe we don't even need to stress heal. Okay. Good lord. She's got the laudanum, though, right? Oh my god, I forgot I even had that. Oh, I didn't have that. I thought I had that equipped. Whoops. An opportunity. Squandered. I'm oh, glad I didn't need it. Maybe I can revelry still here. Nope. Okay, fine, though. That is more than acceptable. Definitely want the laudanum equipped now, though. Oh, I saw... Oh, my God. Big pig. Let's go. I swapped it for the spring water, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we need to put that lot of them back on the uh, plague doctor right away. Nice. Guardian time. The stress is actually kind of okay. Not as bad as I thought. Make sure we got some good combat items. I'm going to equip this just in case. I want to avoid a meltdown here. And then I guess you might as well have an herb equipped as well. There we go. Good stuff. Let's hit it. Ooh, ordained up front. Okay. That sucks. Probably alter first here then, I guess. Slow suffering begins. Well, we got the answer to that. Alter of Denial. That's the stealth one, thankfully. Not too bad. Let's get the burn going on there. Yeah, try to hold forward, too. Gonna, like, play grenade here. Clear dodge plus. Gonna blight start in on the big boy. Very nice. Actually landed the blight on the cherub. Wow. Shocking. Ooh, I think you're dead, buddy. Goodbye. Moving on. Next round. One lesser. Ooh, not quite there on the revelry again. Now ah, we will be. Oh no. Anxiety forms insidious fears. Super sketchy. Here we go. Need another lot of them on there immediately. Hopefully, you get this demon's bolt. That'd be really lucky to land this 25% shot. No good. perhaps. Bring him a little forward though, and then use another lot of them. Get the light going again. We should probably prioritize. Damage on the cherub still though. Holy shit. That's not great. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I was gonna say, yeah, he's almost certainly gonna get his worship here, so. That's okay. Cherub is dead next turn at least. We can smoke screen here, that ought to help quite a bit. Very tempted, actually, I'm definitely gonna do this just to try to avoid the meltdown on the plague doctor here, just in case. He happens to double down on the weight of the worlds. He didn't get the blind there either, so. All right. Joe's the Hellion, but I'm still happy with the choice. You're dead. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the, brilliant conclusion. the combo power off of that. Hellion yeah. looking pretty solid here. I can wait, though, but eh, it's better to just go ahead and do it. Lethality writ large. Still a big chunk of damage from that, and we'll be able to revelry next turn off of that as well. Ooh, huge. Stress actually looking fine at this point. Get the DOT started up front again, and goodbye, Cherub. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Let's see if we can lay in the burn here. Love it. Stab him. Light him. Death's door. Not quite. Not quite. They're optimal. No dodge. No worries. It's another crit for the boy. 
A 30 heal off the relationship. Holy shit. Definitely want one more stress heal for the road there. That's going to be Death's Door. And the Occult is likely for the kill. Nice. Perfect timing on that. Not quite there. Hopefully the DOT gets it. Or he'll just go ahead and decide now. Now I'm finishing this job. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Well, there's certainly a synergy there, huh? Wait, no, not at all. <laughs> God. I'm so good at misinterpreting these things. Okay. Revelry doesn't consume crit if it's not going to heal. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, quite the opposite there. Yeah, that's not going to help at all. Stained Sickness is pretty shitty, too. And then, yeah, that's not a very good Dark Impulse. We already have a bonus one. Great region. And a good start. Good looking run so far, man. Very excited to keep this one going soon. But as mentioned, we are going to have to go ahead and uh, wrap up today a little bit early. I got to gotta be available for these folks. So thanks for watching this morning, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the run so far. The inn awaits Ooh. its favorite guests. You got a sneaky Shane merchant now. That's fun. And Kefton, thank you for the four months. Welcome on back in as well. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Hopefully be able to finish this run later today. Jobs! Yeah, they're here now. Okay, I gotta go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll finish this run hopefully later today or uh, tomorrow morning. And I'll see y'all next time. Later.